Louis C. the Mary checking in. What is going on, my peeps? We're about to do it big today. Thank you all for coming in. So I got to hit you all with the three S's. Share, boop, sponsor the show, inbox me, and subscribe on YouTube. That's how we're doing it over here. Podcast is serious business for in case you all don't know who I am. Uh, my name is Louis C. the Mayor, a.k.a. Louis C. Rock. We got a big podcast today. Talking about biker gangs, it, it was serious, uh, serious in the paint. So all love right now. I got T Much on production doing it big. So come on in. First thing I want to do is a worldwide roll call. Where y'all watching the show from? What is going on? Come in and check in right now and let me know what's really going on. So like that, we can get this thing popping. Over the weekend, all bad in the MIA 305. Bad for the Hurricanes. Bad for the Dolphins. Uh, across the board, it was all bad. I lost a bet in Vegas. My man T Much was happy. Golf didn't even score a point. Not one. Not one point. So it was all bad. Thank you all for coming on in. Share the video right now. Boop, boop, boop. Go get this thing started. We got the purple on today with the NBA doing it big. So it's just a lovely day in paradise. Had a little rain. Rain cats and dogs over the weekend, but not you know consistently. So it was all good. Also, shout out to the Salty Frog. They're doing it big over there, 407 Front Street, new bar restaurant. A lot of good uh, people working down there. Froggy uh, doing it big, the owner, so check them out. Right on Sunset, get you a little Sunset action with the performers. And then uh, go ahead and hit the Salty Frog. Tony Barbera, Barbara, John McCaud. So, Terry, T much got to be the worst person. <laughs> That's right. Quantashi uh, Simmons, Quantashi. Just get one name right. Kushanti. Okay, thank you all. Love. Who else was the other one? John McCod. Okay, hey John, how you doing, sir? Tony Barbara. Barbara. Tony checking in. All love. So let me tell you what happened before we get uh, into the story. Um, let me see something. I think John got a comment. It's me show. Oh, his last name is Michel. Oh, Michel. He spelled it out. Ain't that something? John Michel. Yeah. Okay. All love there. Thank you, uh, Mr. John, for checking in. So, let me tell you what happened. So, today we're talking about what happened when a biker gang wanted to beat up one of my DJs. So, we was doing a bike week uh, a couple years back, and it was a nice party going on. My man DJ Laz was there. I was in the building. So it was so crowded, you couldn't even go in the front door. You had to go in through the back to, you know, get through that crowd, right? So everything going good. So everybody having uh, fun. So there's a group there called Cartel Baggers. They oh. come out of Miami, and they, they was uh, in there doing their thing. So it was all love there, right? So as the party continues, I go in the back, like VIP area over at the sandbar, 511 Green. And I started to uh, feel some tension. And there was a, a bike gang back there. And I just didn't feel the energy. It was, it was, the energy was tense. So I said, nah, maybe just me. Uh, I think it'll be all right. The second time I gave, came through there, I knew it was tension for sure. And people were mean mugging. Looked like they was like on a bike, uh, bank heist ready to, to go ahead and rob a bank. I said, oh, this this thing is serious. Something must have happened here because these people ain't happy. I'm talking about they had people guarding the front, the back, and, and it was the whole bike gang was back there. I said, oh, this is definitely a problem. So coming from my years of training, I said, let me go ahead and get a PD to do a walkthrough here because we ain't ready for no bike gang for all out bro, uh, breakout like Las Vegas. Ain't nobody equipped for that, right? So I said, let me get some type of presence at least to diffuse some, some things, whatever going on. So everything good. So DJ Laz called me to the side. DJ Laz, the pimp with the limp, straight out of Miami, 305 day count. He called me up. He said, well, we got a problem. I said, what's going on? He said, these bikers just came up to me, had a conversation about DJ Javi. I said, DJ Javi? He said, yeah, DJ Javi. So DJ Javi playing in the party, like three, 400 people in there. I said, well, what's wrong with DJ Javi? 
I said, the problem is that they said that DJ Harvey disrespected one of their girls in the game that belonged to them. The girl belonged to them, and Harvey cursed the girl out, texted her on the phone, and they said that the only reason that they ain't snatched Harvey straight up off the party in the middle of everybody is because me and you are over here, and they know they know me from Miami. So that's the only reason that man ain't been snatched head first in the middle of his set. I said, oh, hell no. I said, man, we ain't ready to go up against no bike gang. So I go up and say, Harvey, I don't know what you did to uh, kill him, but we got a, a hell of a problem. You know that girl you text? Some girl you texted, you cursed with uh, some girl. I said, well, I hate to tell you this, but this, this girl is affiliated with a biker gang that's about to kill you in here. Might not make it back to Miami. So what I'm going to need you to do is go ahead and let DJ Laz take over right now, do his thing. And you need to go ahead and do damage control and go ahead and apologize, re-apologize. I don't know how you do it, but you're going to have to defuse this situation because right now, these sort of guns ain't playing. So by the grace of God, Javi went and texts the girl and defused the whole situation. So we came this close from a DJ getting uh, snatched. And I'll be honest with you, we ain't got no security for that. Uh, I'll be honest with you, we, we don't have no security. Later that evening, at a bar down the, the street, they tore a whole club up from limb to limb over with the Tiki Hut. I forgot what, the, what that bar was before the Tiki Hut, right on, on Green Street. They, the, uh, they tore up that bar limb to limb. The only reason they ain't tore by place up when I was there with DJ Laz is because DJ Laz was there and we established my presence because I told him I need every all hands aboard every Key West PD officer to walk through there so that's how I went so DJ Howie made it back to Miami he didn't get hands put on him but don't, don't be playing with girls that belong to a biker game and there's, there's nothing we can handle down here so that's my story how it went down if you like what you hear go ahead and hit the share button right over here boop hit notifications right over here boop and for those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit the little square right here. Boop! Anybody else on your side, uh, team? Jennifer Estevez. Jennifer, what is going on, girl? And, uh, well, John Michaud is still in there and he's laughing now. John is laughing. Okay, well, laughter is good for the heart. Also, go to Words to Party Key West and find out what's really going on. And where y'all at? John, where you uh, checking in from? Give me a roll call right now. Let me know where you're at, what's going on in your neck of the woods. And I got to tell y'all, there's a lot of people, the, the 2020 vision out in Key West is bad, all bad. You got to stay focused. The more you uh, focus, the better you're going to be on point. We try Columbus, to stay Georgia. Columbus, Georgia. Okay, John, thank you. Georgia, uh, I got some Georgia peaches down there. So you got to stay focused on what you got uh, going on and make sure you are uh, on top of your game down here because there's a lot of uh, people not focused. I was really happy. Tangela Edwards. Tangela Edwards, big in the game. She said, where you hey, at right hey now? Louis. Hey, Louis, she said. I see you, Tang. So, like I said, stay on point. Try to stay focused and keep a 2020. Also, big, where I'm getting a lot of calls saying, uh, I heard Fantasy Fest is canceled. Uh, the answer is uh, Fantasy Fest is not canceled. Whoever told you that lied to you. We got some big announcements coming up here soon this week with Fantasy Fest. In the uh, meantime, in between time, go to Fantasy Fest 2021 Celebrity Parties and make sure you like it on Facebook and you'll find out all the events that's going on. Also, big opportunities in the entertainment business. If you want to be deep in the game in the entertainment business, you want to come in and be part of a major, major development going on, go ahead and inbox me. And I only want serious people that I'm dealing with. I don't want no uh, shaky wobbly suspect people uh, already uh, been through that so you gotta be serious if you're gonna be in the game also uh, Terry is crazy so the story nationwide uh, this girl named Gabby uh, I don't want to mispronounce God bless her you know they found the, the body unfortunately P-E-T-I-T-O is her last name and her fiance Brian go on a cross country trip and only one person comes back. So you know it's already a problem with that. It's already, you don't have to be uh, Sherlock Holmes to know that, that that's, a, that's a problem. And now we get reports that Brian is uh, missing in action. Huh? They got the FBI looking for him. They got Homeland Security. They got the state police. So APB on this guy, Brian, um, 
probably uh, not going to end up well, but that's a sad story. If you're going through something and somebody make you feel uncomfortable, you need to get away from that person right now. That's just not the way to go. T much what else is going on uh, other than the ass whooping the Dolphins took? They took a big ass whooping. Charles Charles says what's up. Charles Charles is on, on point. Is always he, on the podcast. Is his last, last name really Charles? Yeah, Charles Charles is, is a killer. He has two first or last names. Charles got flavor. Yeah. Flavor year like Flavor Flav. Yeah. I see Flavor Flav the other day. It looked like a boy doing it big. It's Anybody else flavor. doing it? No, oh, that's it right now. Okay. So... What else we got going on around town? People getting excited? Nobody's talking about Bike Week. Nothing on Bike Week. There was Bike Week last year, right? They even did a little yeah. one. Well, I know, I know Cartel Baggers are coming yeah. down, so it'll probably be an unofficial. When is that? Bike Week. The end of the month, right? No, coming up here, yeah. In September, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Uh, maybe this week it comes. Probably. It's always it's the end of the month. I need September, you're right. Yeah. Yep, I think it's this, this upcoming weekend. So when you see thousands of motorcycles... Coming in, then you know what uh, no, time the city it is. hates the motorcycles so loud they get so mad. I don't have no problem with uh, bikers coming. Oh, in. that's why they stopped all that, right? Because it was too loud. Well, nobody stopped anything. They just uh, Remember the, notch, uh, the the charity backed out to close the street, so right. then there was an official organizer. But we had spring break. There's no promoter for that. They just kind of come down. So right. I don't have no problem with um, bikers. I don't have no problem with spring breakers. I definitely got no How about breakers. spring breakers on, on motorcycles? Spring breakers on motorcycles? Usually yeah. on mopeds. Mopeds, yeah. Yeah. Uh, they beat the horn a little bit, but I beat the horn when I was young, too. Uh, I got no no Still. problem at all, definitely, with uh, Fantasy Fest. I wonder what they're going to do down there in Bahama Village, because uh, Goombe shut down. <laughs> what do you mean Children? shut down? There's no Goombe. Well, We're looking to get some good food down. Plus, you know, it's October, Scorpio. Season, so I'm having my birthday, but actually, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do this year. But we're gonna make some things happen. You know, we're not getting any young, any younger. They said, uh, "You ain't a spring chicken." I said, "Yeah, but however, I'm still spring break." What else going on, Terry? Before I, I get up, out everything's here? great. A lot of love, lots okay. of love. How long have we been out here now? Uh, I don't have a timer on there. You don't got a timer. To say on there. On oh, mine, so I don't see it on that, but. We're trying to get that eight-minute mark, but all good. I think that's pretty much what we got off cover. Oh, I forgot a big one. What's that? Ladies night or oh, what a night. Oh, is ladies night or oh, what a night. Girls, y'all seen the movie Magic Mike? Get your head sprung, LL Cool J. I be up in the club. I get my head sprung. Mella LeBear, as seen in the movie Magic Mike, Tuesday night of Fantasy Fest weekend. It's the wildest, craziest male review ever. We've been doing it for about 20 years. Tiny Whitey Park. So it's going down to get some more information. Go to keysticks.com. K-Y-S-T-I-X.com. Let me tell you something. So a lot of guys said, man, I don't want to go to uh, a mail review. You know, because it would be all them dudes out there, you know, tipping for the strip. I said, well, I got to tell you something. That's the best place to be. For a party because what happens is the ratio of girls to guys is like 22 to 1 and them girls get hot and bothered so they they be about it about it at that party so I suggest you, you come on in and, and, and check it out it, it gets wild out there when these women lose their mind in there you've been in a couple of them all too I, I danced in one before you did which yeah. one uh, Chippendales yeah yeah but this is the real version of Men of the Bear I'm a Chippendale so that's basically my time I think uh, we covered everything and Monday Night Football, I'm not sure who's playing. But who is playing? The, game, uh, the Packers? I'm not sure. I think it's the Packers. Football, people are happy to have football. Here's a funny thing. Alex Gar- Gar- Gutierrez? I think so. Yeah. My man, uh, if that's a, let me see, I can't see him. You know, Mark from Facebook, he make it uh, difficult. Yeah. So Alex G is in the freestyle mix. Of the Alex, I'm thinking, freestyle mix, that boy, 827. Shout out to all my people always showing love for the radio show. And on uh, iHeart Radio, so make sure y'all tune in on Thursday night. John said he hopes all this COVID stops. Well, I'm going to leave it at this. How many people are in the Penn State Stadium? 80,000, probably. Okay. That's where they got them white pom-poms, right? Yeah. Okay. So Alex said yes, sir. My man, Alex G. doing it. Alex, don't you have a party going on? 
soon, go ahead and uh, let me know what's happening so we can promote this here while we're on the live. So, correct me if I'm wrong, Terry. Do they have seats in between the game? Like, I'm sorry, in between each fan, like you said, or is it shoulder to shoulder? You know what it is. Shoulder to shoulder, right? Yeah, college games packed, no masks, as John just said. Well, so, I'm trying to see if 2 plus 2 added to 4, but right now I'm getting 5. So, let me get this right. So, there's 80,000 people in the stadium, shoulder to shoulder, bumper to bumper. It'd be hotter than games, too, because, you know, that energy level would be off the chamber, right? 80,000 people, not 8,000. But we don't have a parade down here, but you still go to the football game. I'm still trying to get some comprehension and common sense. I, I still haven't put it together because I, I believe if you go to the football game, it's definitely more at risk than going to a parade because the parade, there's people spread out. You know, it's open air. So I'm not sure what's going on, but you, you definitely need to get vaccinated. So I've got to go get my second shot soon. And vaccination um, is... Uh, Serious. You know who died, Terry? I oh. have to tell you, the comedian. Oh. AJ from the movie Friday. That was in the movie, The Funny Guy, Short Guy. I forgot his last name. I seen it on TMZ. The oh. Funny Guy. Uh, he was really, really funny. So shout out to my man, AJ. Condolences. He's only like 55. I see a comment up there, Terry. What you got? Uh, it's from Alex. He says, uh, it's called 100% Freestyle, and it's happening at the club at Renaissance on November 6th in Miami. MI305, listen, if you're in Miami right now, tune in, doing it big. Alex G, this man, he didn't just start doing freestyle like yesterday. This man was in it to win it from day one. This man played probably on the first days that freestyle came out in Miami. So when you ever have an opportunity to see this man, make sure you pull up there uh, at the Renaissance November 6th and uh, go ahead and do your thing because, you know, the good old uh, music right now compared to what we got going on, right now is uh, definitely not the same. So that's my time, Louis C. the Mayor. Always keep the glasses on for uh, hater block purposes and for uh, prescription. And last but not least, shout out to FloridaKeysInJ.com. Accident lawyers in the keys. Alex said thanks, my brothers. All good, all good. If you have an accident in a car, moped, bicycle, or God forbid on these Chuck, golf carts. Chuck Banks. Hold on, golf cart and or ocean out there. Make sure you can just go to FloridaKeysInjury.com. They'll take care of you. Who's the, who's the next one? Chuck Banks. Shabba Ranks? Yeah, Shabba. Chuck Banks. Uh, is there another comment there? No, that's the name. Oh, okay. How are you doing, sir? Thank you for coming in. All love. So that's my time. Thank you all for tuning in. Please subscribe to YouTube right over here. Boop! How?